It's Sunday, it's 8 o'clock, it's stream time. Hi folks, and welcome to Corin Exiles. How is everybody today? Wow, a lot of, lot of people in the chat already. Let's have, a, let's have a quick look, see who we've got. Troy Kurtz, good evening, good to see you. Riznak, good to see you too. Shade, good to see ya. Robert Mannix, how do, how are you? Uh, Monkey Balls? Um, anyone remember where to get the Black Blood Pick? So the Black Blood Pick is got from the Caves of Jill up in kind of the sort of northeast corner on the main Exiles map. And it's a it's a random drop off of the, the most northern boss up there. If you if you have a look for a, a Children of Jill video in my in my YouTube lists, they'll be they'll be in there. Sarmal, good evening from Berlin. Oh, well, good evening to you. Rex Havoc, good evening to you. A Anord, Anorder, not sure how you pronounce that, but we'll give that a go. Good evening, good afternoon, evening. Yes, new series, yes it is indeed. Um, Game Labs, good evening, sir. How are you? Good to see you. Belinda, Belana Ray, Tay, good evening. Mandy B., Miroslav, good to see you all. Sneerful Dust, hello. Good to see you. Trip FTW, good evening, bud. How are you? Paul Slater, good evening. Carlos Romero, don't forget to take your keys. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, it'll be a wee while before we get any keys here. Uh, game I was saying, here we go with another fun stream and chill with you guys. Yeah, it's good to be back. Obviously, we missed last week, but Game Labs stepped up and did a, a Sunday stream for us instead because because I was busy with real life. Piff Puff Peng, hello to you. Joe Smith, uh, greetings. 
not so sunny Florida. Thunderstorm just ended. Ooh, wow. Not so good. Uh, Belana Tay, this is actually Kathy Ann's. Everyone knows this is a new account, so the the mummy of the channel, Kathy Ann, is Belana Tay. Uh, six badges, bonsoir. Glass, glass of red wine, of course. Sunday evening, Major Dan, good to see you. Uh, Kuznak saying the boss is called Feasts on Flesh. Yes, the most northern of the four caves is, is that guy. Uh, let's see, Bulwark, hello, good to see you, my friend. Uh, oh, did I sc scooch past way too far there? I did, does that sometimes. Let me see, where was I? Uh, oh, I don't want to miss everybody out. Uh, let me see, Bulwark, there we go. And then, how do, how do me ducks? Uh, so many people, so many people back at the Tinker Pot, good to see you. How are you getting on? Uh, Game Labs has smashed the like button because you know it's going to be good. Thank you, Game Labs. Thank you. ECNL19. Hello, long time no see. It's been a been a while since I've seen you. Of course, we we named one of our was it our shale back that was named after you back in the the previous stream series. Uh, Jim Ewing, howdy, anti matter me. Good evening to you, Nitsa Gomez. Hello, uh, Cord1959, Nick JC, Thorforge, good evening sir, or good afternoon, whatever it may be, Groovy Goose, hello, Hella Villa, you made it, you sure did, love the content, thank you very much, good to see you, uh, oh, Matt Ward, good evening, Siberian25, Grim Dale, Rising Ashes524, uh, excited for the new play. You'll be starting one yourself. Oh, excellent. Good to see you. Dorklicious Fiber Arts. Good evening. Good to see you too. How are you getting on in the server? Tony Lewis. Good evening. One Papa B. First time I'm here. Welcome. Good to see you. Glad to have you along. Uh, let me see. Shadow Soul. Will you make a series from that, right? The Beginner's Guide of Age of War. Uh, make a series from from this so this this will just be our streaming series we'll just do this on a sunday for the next foreseeable we'll we'll continue with the beginner's guide on the that'll be on the exiled lands uh dejockey 88 first time here too good to have you along great to see you sean bumstead hello from canada your first live you've watched all the video well welcome sean good to see you uh brett young hello there uh you have to watch You'd love to watch, but you have to go to the hospital this morning. Oh, sorry to hear that, Brett. Well, all the best for you. Hope it all goes well. Uh, let's see. Getting on good. Do you want to thank you for your guide series? It's helped me get better at the game. Oh, thank you, Beck. It's great. Thank you for watching. Uh, let's see. Kevin Mayers, good to see you. Uh, Cool. I, I think that's everybody. Right. So, during the week, we did a, a we did a poll on the community channel about what we're going to do going forward on a Sunday, because we've kind of completed everything we needed to do on the Exiled Lands, and uh, the winner of the poll, with forty percent or just under forty percent of the vote, was a new playthrough on Isle of Sipta. So that's what we're going to start today. Rene Thiessen, hello to you. Good to see you. So yeah, here we are. We're on Isla Sipta. It's just on the medium, the medium level, whatever that's called. Is it decadent level or something like that? Um, I've created my my basic character, and we're ready to go. Uh, so we're slave cargo for transport, anger, the Sumerian one-way passage to the exiled lands for the crimes of debauchery. That's fair enough. Butchering a bailiff, yeah, well, that's quite possible, and fixing gladiatorial matches. Cool. Cargo to be delivered in good health and condition, else the captain will offer one of his meh. Is it, oh, it's not meh, it's men. <laughs> it's, <laughs> oops. Uh, to be taken place of the prisoner. Okay, let's go. All right, we'll just ignore that. That's just pippy stuff. And we're logging in. Right. Where are we? Oh, I think I've picked the wrong. I, I'm. 
I've played the beginning of this game on several occasions. You get to start here, up here somewhere, up here, and down here. And I don't like any of those starting points apart from this one up here. It's it's a really good place just because of the location of that base there and the amount of uh, iron and coal that's around. Uh, so I meant to pick the northeast starting, but I've picked the, the southeast one instead. But we can make our way up there. That's not a big problem. Uh, did a great job of the Beginner's Guide series for Art of War. I've watched all of them. I mean, really good job. Thank you very much, Sado Souls. Thank you very much. Uh, but Beck, they think about Huz Sipta, but haven't played it yet. I, I don't tend to play it an awful lot, to be fair. When I, when I first got it, uh, when I first got it, these islands didn't exist. Neither of these islands were here. And I wasn't a great fan of it. Um, didn't really play it much. And then we did a little playthrough, I don't know, six months ago? Can't remember when it was. And it was actually a more fun than a, I remembered it being before. But this is what people want to play, so we'll play this for this one. Uh, close to the sorcery cave. That's exactly right. The sorcery cave in this map is just right about... Yeah. Don't want too much faff now. <laughs> faff being the, the, the new word, is it? <laughs> Arroz, going to, is this going to be a new series? This is going to be a new streaming series. We'll, be, we'll just be playing this on a Sunday night with, with you guys. Uh, I, I, I don't play the streaming series out with the, the Sunday night stuff. I just only play it live with you guys. David Zito, Jacques Lefay, good to see you. How are you? Okay, right. So, let's see. So, Island Survivor Journey Step is already listed. And we have to take our first step. Okay, we've done that. Search for supplies. So, I think that more means from bodies. Usually some washed up bodies lying about. I don't think it actually means just picking up this, no. No bodies? There's one. I see one. The Red Mother is on Sipta. Yep. So we'll have to go and get the, the torch all over again. Right, so we managed to get some... A level already. Managed to get a bit of food, which we can use. And we've got a water skin, which we can use. Refill your water skin. Soul of Men, good evening. How are you? Yep, you're here in time. We've just literally started. Nothing like leaving the beach with half a dozen water skins. <laughs> yes. Uh, refill the water skin. Use. Oh, we're not in deep enough water. There we go. Gather plant fiber. Gathering some of these branches while we're at it. Pick up the wood as well. Yep. That's five branches, because we'll need that to make our first tool. Right, can we gather this plant? Can. I uh, don't know, I've got one third time taking her on what the fuss was about. <laughs> yeah, the fuss was just because I was really unlucky. And then as soon as we got the first torch, of course, on the same stream, we got the second torch. Just typical. Scavenger Coast. Right, that should be enough fibre. We can craft ourselves some trousers. Yep, got to use the hatchet. I think it actually tells you to make a pick first, but we've got to make the hatchet so we can gather branches quicker. Spend attribute points. Okay. Right, first points is got to go into Vitality. I want to get up to that perk as quickly as possible to get the passive health regen. Go. Craft a bedroll. Uh, oh, we're going to need more fibre so that we can make more twine. Don't get very much fibre off of these plants. It's a one-hit thing. Uh, Tony Lewis, Skanger, you had a new GPU, looks more crisp. Uh, no, it's the same GPU. I think it's just, the game is just a little bit more crisp on Sipta. 
I am currently looking into upgrading my GPU. Uh, but updating, but because I want to, I want I'm going 1080 at the moment, and I want to go 1440, and I want a better GPU. Uh, Shadow Soul, thank you for the sub. Um, but yeah, I need to make. There's a little turtle. Uh, I would need a, a PSU upgrade, so I would need two monitor upgrades. I would need a PSU upgrade and a very expensive graphic card as well, so. It'll happen soon, but not quite yet. You on a PV server? We are on a single player game. I don't do any of my recording on any servers, and you will never find me playing on a PV server ever, Mike GTR. I I'm, cannot stand a. PvP at all. Mr. Skulls, thank you for the sub. It does look different even on so Yeah, it is. Also, I mean, it might be a bit, but I, I'm not that keen on the lighting on Sipta. And what's even worse is that damn maelstrom. Right, can I make a bedroll now? The, the maelstrom, I think the very first time I played the game, the maelstrom, because you're... You're building around the outside of the island, so you don't actually um, have anything to do with the maelstrom. Other than the fact that it makes it all dark and horrible and grey. So I switched it off, and I think I forgot to switch it back on again. So I ended up making a big base right in the right in the centre of the map. Um, which would have been inside the maelstrom area, but I never got a maelstrom because I forgot to switch it back on again. Yeah. Uh, Got a new system with a 4060, a big difference from your old 2070 Super. Oh, nice. Uh, you can highly recommend the 4070 Ti Super if the budget allows with 16 gig of RAM. Also good for AI. Yep, uh, I'm actually looking at the 4080 Super. The, the new 4080 Super. Um, they're very limited stock at the moment. There, there's not that many. Oh no, a dog and I don't have a weapon yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right, let's run away, let's run away. Oh, look how shallow this water is. Can we get some deeper water? Did we ever get the Red Mother Torch? We sure did! Oi! It's deep enough to swim. Gone, he's gone. We're all okay. Right, place the bedroll. Building is not allowed here. Of course not. Uh, yes, yeah, so we did get... We we got the... The... What's it called? The final breath of the Red Mother. And then later on in that very same episode, we got a second one. So two dogs came across. <laughs> that dog wanted my graphics card, yeah. Uh, overlapped with terrain... Oh dear. There we go. Right. Place. And then pick it straight back up again. Gather stones. Five stones, I think. Two. Pick up wood. Three. Four. Jack the Fee's on a hunt for a 40 80 as well. Right, gather branches. Oh, right, so now we can make our hatchet. And then we can use the hatchet to hit that and get seven more. And then another six more. Uh, and then we'll need a bit more of this. Oh, we've still got to gather more branches. So it, it classes each branch as one. Okay, there we go. Craft a stone pick. Certainly. The Gigabyte Gaming OC is on your list now. Oh, cool. Doggies. Yes, there's doggies on this map. Can you only set up your own server on computer? Can you also do it? You can do it on console. Uh, Game Labs here runs a server for PlayStation. And you can, you can also do it for Xbox. Uh, you looked at the 488, but decided the cost was worth the relative small increase in performance. Yeah, that's that's the balance. It's 
yeah, the the difference in cost. Harvest stone with my new stone pickaxe. You play on Xbox Game Pass. Ah, okay. I don't think there's anybody here runs an Xbox server, but if you do, feel free to let us know. Right, craft a stone weapon. Go oh, spend our points. Knowledge, weapons, warrior, and where's skirmisher? There's skirmisher. Right, let's start off with a stone mace. Want to get a Brutus when you're strong enough? He's a tough and cute dog. Yeah, we'll definitely go collecting some of the... the what are they called? Something? Pups? Powerful pups? Or... Recalculate your power consumption? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so I need to upgrade my... I need to... Officially, when with a 4080, it needs a 750 watt power supply. Which is what I've got, but I always like to give myself a little bit of headroom because I've got a few hard drives going as well. So, um, I'll probably go up to an 850 PSU. Playful Pup, that's the one. Thank you, Game Labs. Uh, reality Andy, evening. On the subject of GPU, I just got an RX 7900 XT so I could play in Shrouded. Oh, nice. Okay, doggy. Circle, circle. Slay an enemy. There we go. Are armors and weapons on Sipta different from Exile Lands? Uh, they're basically the same, but when you do the vaults, you'll learn some different armors and stuff in there. Uh, but, of course, in order to play Sipta, you have to have bought the Isle of Sipta DLC. So you'll get the Sipta... Um, armors that come along with that. Oh, no, I didn't want that. I wanted that button. Uh, craft wraps. And then heal yourself. Some, some recipes are different, yeah. Moggy is just a hyena with another skin. Um, I think they're actually... A bit tougher than hyenas, I think. Not sure, not sure. Uh, good evening, Lord Carnival. Good to see you. Zipta have best two-hand swords, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hard to fight those puppers. Looks too much like a German Shepherd. Yes, that's exactly what they are, yeah. The delving recipes are pretty good, also a bit random. Yeah, I never got as far as dealing with delving benches and stuff. The wolf chest and head is a great one of the vaults. At the moment, legendary weapons are the best, but crafted, I believe so. Tougher since you are weak now. Yep, that's, I'm very much... Very much weak at this moment in time. Have I got any more points to put in yet? I do. There we go. There's the first one. So I now get passive health gen. Of the headless item on this map. Yeah, yeah. So there is a boss who... Um, is, is he called the Judge? And he, he's like in... Let me think. What armor is he in? Is he in Silent Legion armor? But he's missing a head. So you can You can get that helmet skin fire over there. Right, harvest a corpse with a tool. Is Silent Legion, yeah. Sam Hirschberger, you're not late. We've all been sitting here waiting for you so we can get started. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, of course it's night time. Right, this is probably a good time to do my settings. So let me go into make me admin and then go to server settings so let's speed up nighttime speed uh, let's start off with four and we'll see how it goes uh, 
survival, all that's going to stay the same. Combat, all that's going to stay the same. Harvesting, I'm going to increase my harvesting multiplier by two. And let me see what else. Will, oh, I'll also. Oh, Reality Andy has an Xbox server to think about opening up if there would be a demand. Yeah, it sounds like there is, Andy. Sounds like there is. Right, crafting. I want to put the crafting, just make that twice as fast, just so we're not standing about waiting for that to happen. And we'll put the thrall multiplier. I don't want to be sitting waiting for that either while we've got a limited stream time. We'll turn that up, put that 10 times faster. And I think the only other one we need to change is the pets. Do exactly the same with the pets. Right, there we go. Uh, and then I'll quit the main menu and I'll come back in to get rid of admin admin -ness. Play, continue, go. Bill Guy, thank you for the donation. Thank you very much. Really enjoy your content. Thank you. Thank you for saying so. Oh, that's reset daytime anyway. Right, unlock primitive cook. Here, make a campfire. Uh, let's see, Chuch Aru. Hope all is going well. It sure is. Thank you very much. Yes, server would be nice. Yep. Uh, Game Labs has a PlayStation server. Uh, did I craft it? I did. Six. Can't place anything there. There we go. Alright, let's cook some food. We've only got feral flesh at the moment. Cook some of that. I do like the start of the game. It is very... Once, once you get to high level, it's a bit... Not as interesting, shall we say. Right, let's pick up the campfire. Well, I've completed the journey. So that's that journey. Claim that reward. We won't open that yet until we get to a location. Next thing we want is... Let's do warrior. So, dodge. There we go. Kick. Target lock an enemy. Right, we'll have to go and find an enemy now. Let's start working our way to... The base location that we're going to actually set up our starter base at. We'll probably just work our way around the around the coast. Got any more attribute points to spend? We do. Let's put that in. Let's put that in expertise. Give us some carry weight. Time to some time with your wife. Hope new Shogun is worth watching. We'll watch the rest tomorrow. Okay, Jacques, thanks for popping by. Enjoy Shogun. Let us know what you think of it. It's something on the list of something we need to watch. Oh, I tell you what, I need to build um, craft even is a set of daggers. Let's see if we can get one of these guys before it runs away. Oh, wow. Certainly can. Uh, in that case, can we make a cleaver? Love to see them add a difficulty mode where the PV is actually challenging. Would be, Yeah, that is one thing, is the start of the game isn't as difficult as it could be. Reality Andy, thank you for the donation. Very kind of you. When you consider it to the start of the likes of Ark, where a uh, you can you can die from a bug uh, very quickly, right as you start off, or, or dillos and stuff like that, it's a lot easier to to get killed at the start until you get yourself set up. So 
when you compare that, it's not quite as hard. It's a bit it's a bit too easy, in fact. Alright, let's chop this up, see if we can get some steak off of it. We can. Nice. Hello, deer thing. We've got to get some more off of you. That's interesting. We wouldn't have expected it to get killed so easily as that. Well, I don't have my damage numbers on, do I? Uh, this is Hosaf's UI mod, by the way. So the minimap is up here, so we need to get that moved down out of the way. Um, and where's my use floating damage? Minimap. Uh, put the hot bar to be a little bit smaller and put the minimap in the bottom corner. That. And then we need to go to settings, games, and switch off and textual controls. So it's not covering it up. There we go. We only have 19 each. Well, I suppose the things have got changed since the last time I played here, but it used to be it was quite hard to get them early game without them running away. And once it started running away, you were pretty much stuck. The thing is, you can tweak the settings and make it way harder. That is true. That is true. What mode are we in? We're in, what is it, the middle mode. Is that decadent? Uh, iron nodes there. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, we're almost there. More dogs. One dog. There we go. Oh, we've got a challenge to defeat wild dogs, even though we've completed the battle pass. No more. Yeah, hey, let's... Ooh. I hear something. What is it? Hmm. Whatever it is, it's disappeared. Uh, I got eight people on a wheel of friendship, just like watching a lava lamp, just hypnotic. <laughs> you got the big wheel, lots of friends on it. Uh, Lucius, uh, I want to get into Conan with your brothers. What's the goal for players? Leave the planet or something? Uh, on the Exile Lands map, not this map. There, there is you're kind of you're kind of in prison. You've got this bracelet on your arm and you can't leave the, the the fence around. So you have to complete a whole bunch of tasks to get an item to remove the bracelet which allows you to walk free of the land and escape. The only problem with that is it uh, that ends the game for you. Alright, we've got two dogs here. Can we get one pulled? Come on, you. Whoop. Right. They've only got 12 HP. Eh, let's get them. I don't think there is actually an objective on the Isle of Sipta. As far as I know, there isn't like a quest. It is basically just a sandbox. Oh. There we go. Daggers are just so OP early game, it's unreal. Okay, that will be our goal. Okay, no problem. Two new Sumerian Berserkers have spent the day leveling them up to level 10. Nice one. How early how early can you obtain legendary weapons in the Isle of Sipta? Uh, honestly, I don't know. If, if I'm right in saying you only get legendary weapons from legendary chests, which are inside the vaults, Um, so you would need to be able to at least complete the first vault. Oh, that one's got 92. That's interesting. Uh, could I lock onto it? Oh, it's dead anyway. 
Oh, so the other one had 12. That one had 92. Uh, SEPTA always felt like the PvP mode to you. Not sure why. So everything should be a bit harder. Like the the NPCs are a bit harder to fight on SEPTA. Right, so I'm just gathering hide off of these guys. Uh, so I want to go this way. Check my menu up. Yep, up the river. Uh, as soon as you can manage the first dungeon, probably level 30, Grishnak is saying. So that, that's probably a decent... Uh, I, I would say level 30 is a decent level for, like, the dregs. You can do it earlier, but uh, if you've got to level 30, you should have some half-decent weapons, and you probably have a half-decent brawl with you as well. Yeah, these are 92 as well. Did I misread that first one? Did it say 12? And it's actually... Oh, the numbers aren't showing up right. I'll have to fix the, the damage numbers. There's a... Some bosses have decent weapons. There's a white boss not too far from you. Yeah, but for for bosses, you if you really want to be around about level 30. All right, let's get some of this aloe leaves for potions. Well, we want to apply sunder to an enemy. Oh, we need to use our mace to do that. Uh, creature Roo, I've been out of touch a bit with Conan. Did they ever implement the final stage of Age of War with the raid? So it's... Um, that That is in Chapter 3, which is out right now. Uh, there is a, a PvE raid that you can take part in. Um, but they decided that they couldn't get everything they wanted to do in Chapter 3. So they're putting out a Chapter 4 and all ages going forward will be four chapters. And judging by the sort of three month cycle, um, we should start getting an announcement about Age of War Chapter 4 coming pretty soon. Um, I, I, I think the fateful Chapter 3 mess was launched around um, the middle of December. So that would mean we would be looking around the middle of Mar middle to end of March for Chapter 4. And you normally get two to three weeks of beta beforehand. So we really should be getting an announcement literally any day now uh, to tell us what's happening with Chapter 4. You get, the, you get the dev stream. You get Andy and uh, Dennis do a little stream on the Funcom channel and give you an overview of everything that's happening in the new chapter. Um, and usually that very day the the beta server is live for people on PC and we get to test it out and play with it for usually two to three weeks until it, until it goes live. So should be very soon. And then after that, we'll get a new age. Right, so this is the point that I like to build my little base. I build it up here because there's loads of iron all around here. And up here doesn't block the respawn. Um, there is coal just over there. The south, on the south side of the river. And there is a little NPC camp just over there. Uh, they have a June stream. have a June stream coming tomorrow. 4th of March, tomorrow. Telling you a bit more about June Awakening, which I'm also very, very excited about. So I'll be tuning into that. Uh, Luxus Rex, sorry, but anyone can answer this. What mods make it so we have mini compasses, time, and all the survival server stuff up at the top? So this mod is Osaf's custom UI mod. So uh, uh, you can see here, I've only got two mods running. Pippi is just purely for management of the online server. That doesn't get used in this game at all. The only one we see is Co Hosav which gives you that different UI up in the top corner, gives you a little bit more information, gives you the mini map that I've placed down in the bottom corner, and it gives you like damage numbers and stuff like that as well. So it's purely a, a UI mod, it doesn't affect the game in any way, and that's that's the only mod that I use. Pippi is just 
server management stuff for, for the online server. Yeah, you didn't like the new Dune movie? You didn't? Wow. So, I just, I, I've been very excited about Dune 2, Part 2 coming out. I just have been too busy in real life to be able to go and see it yet. But uh, we just re-watched Dune Part 1 last night. Uh, just to catch us up and get us fresh, ready to hopefully next week sometime go and see Dune Part 2. And I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Right, okay, we're here. We need to start crafting some sort of building. So I'm going to change to the survival shelter. Uh, watched them the other day. It's really, really nice. 10 out of 10. We'd watch again. The sounds, oh, the, everything, the visuals, everything is epic. I love it. It's a bit more, I don't know, arty, shall we call it, than, than the original one in... When was the original one? Was that 80s? The, the one with Sting and Kyle, whatever his name is, in it. Uh, was that maybe late 80s, early 90s that came out? Uh, I've also found out that on Amazon Prime there is a three-part TV series of, of Dune as well. So I'm going to have to go and watch that. Well, that looks interesting as well. PG Bane, how are you? Good to see you. Good loot in that camp. There is good loot in that camp. There is also a lot of good new friends to be had. And of course there is a jailer. And in the new iterations, early 80s. Is it as far long as ago as that? My God. That shows how old I am. Yeah, so there is a jailer there, which of course will drop Silent Legion gear, which is good for giving to your thralls. Really, really early game. Right, what do we need to do? We have to unlock the mason knowledge that one there we've also got more attributes to spend so we'll put them in expertise so we can carry a bit more uh, use your hatchet to cut down a tree getting night time it's kind of getting night time it's six o'clock in the evening at least we don't have a maelstrom going on at the moment that three parter is Children of Dune. No, it, I did look at it. There is a Children of Dune as well, but it is just Dune. It's the original Dune book. Sci fi version of Dune was really good. 1984. Okay, thank you very much. I uh, should remember a Dune game on the Amiga. It was an RTS. Yeah, I remember a Dune game like that as well. Right, craft a construction hammer. We need five. Oh, we've got enough to do that. Part three may be a mix of Dune Messiah, the second book, and Children of Dune, the third book. Ah, okay. We want all the Dune movies and the original book. Oh, nice one. Right. Build a foundation. Okay, we'll need to put our... Construction hammer on here. Uh, of course, we'll do it in 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 flotsam because we can. We don't have to worry about building um, bases. So the those who have have watched the, the channel, there is a short series of a uh, Isla Sipta that I did uh, maybe six months ago or something like that, which I never completed. I, I ran out of time to do that. Um, and in there, because the, the purges at, at that time was the old purge system, I didn't build my base out of foundations. I built it out of uh, pillars and ceilings, because if you don't have foundations, it, there was no purgeable base. That's not an issue anymore. That doesn't bother us, so we can do what we want. So it would be nice to have bit of daylight to be able to see what we're doing so let's let's place one there build a wall wall build a door frame need more wood to do that June 2 was an RTS was developed by Westwood Studios that's maybe the game I played does sound familiar. 
Babylonia Rising, finally catching live. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you here. Major Dan was changing nappies at that point. <laughs> Is that in 1984, Major Dan? Uh, book 3 is nearly done. You're on chapter 16 of 20. Oh, Kathy Ann. Oh, we're doing the backward walking thing. There we go. Right. Uh, build a door frame. Use the building picker to pick the wall. Place some more walls. Build a ceiling. We need stone for that. Luckily, we have stone here. Uh, Blue Method 5, finally caught him live. Happy to be here and love your videos. I play along while I watch your content. Thank you very much. Good to have you here. Nice to see you. Black Cat Sabbath. Black Cat Sabbath. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Been falling through foundations a lot lately, have you? Major Dan had two under four at that point. Sadly, I was away a lot there. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, more chart. Guys, I'm switching from console gaming to PC gaming. Oh, welcome. Advise on any PC building references apart from PC Builder. Oh, well. Loads of, loads of stuff out there. What I tend to do is I go to some... Uh, game computer companies and uh, look at the different gaming machines they sell, find one that's around the level I'm looking for which is usually based on the graphics card, you've got to kind of pick your graphics card first and whether you want to go Intel or AMD CPU so I find one that's whatever I'm looking for, kind of jot down the bits that they're selling and then I'll go and pick and build them myself, I'll Buy, buy all the individual bits so I can get the exact amount of RAM, the exact amount of hard drive, whatever case I want and whatever C uh, PSU I want and then I build it. To set. But not obviously not everybody would be fully keen on building a PC from scratch themselves if they're not confident. There's nothing worse than spending all that money, putting it together and then watching it all go up in smoke. So... Where do you shop for PC parts? I know nothing but many other places. So, uh, well, I'm in the UK. Where are you? Because I can only give you any tips towards UK-based locations. Uh, right, build a ceiling. Come on, we need, to, we need to get moving. And start looking at more interesting stuff. And finally, a door. Which I need twine for. Need we need some is that a crock down there? Yes there is. In that corner. PC part picker is a good shout. As a general rule, buying the bits, even if you have them build it, gets more computer. Yeah, so you tend to get it cheaper if you build, buy the bits yourself. Because one thing, of course, is you don't have to buy all the bits from one company. What made you start a new playthrough? Um, I, basically because we kind of completed the game on Exiled Lands on the, on the Sunday stream. We've kind of done everything we needed to do. So we put a little vote out about what we're going to do, whether we'll keep going and do other stuff on there, or start as various new maps we could start. And this one won. Oh, grey flower, not getting much in the way of fibre from there. You read new egg as nothing. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, right, let's have a bunch of that. Finding a torch was the last part to beat the game. Oh, essentially, that was one of the things. 
We'd done all the we'd done all the dungeons. Although Bulwark did point out we didn't actually do all the dungeons because I didn't do Kurak's dungeon. Oh, you tell them, Thor. You tell them. Uh, Gamer says I would have to have get one built. You can afford it as you don't have a clue how to build a PC. <laughs> This looks like the Pacific Northwest, or possibly Arkansas. Okay. Oh, Timmy boy's here. Hello, Timmy. Callan, Darklaw. Good to see you. You need your fibre. You certainly do. Right. Can we build the door now? There we go. Unlock box maker. Uh, nope, wrong button. That button. More attributes to spend. Let's get that up. expertise up to five as well. Box maker is here. You doing strength again or dexterity? Uh, I think I'll go to do agility this time. Just to mix it up a little bit. Help us out with our daggers and short swords and also some uh, archery stuff. We built an outhouse for the fibre consumption. Yep, that's it. Just the one by one, or you, you don't get a sandstorm here. But if you're on the, if you're on the Exad lands, a one by one is all you really need to, to protect you from a sandstorm if it comes along. And then the rest, put your benches on foundations. Right, we need to put a box down. But let's just destroy this all, and let's copy that and put some more. Oh, it needs to be a bit higher. What happens when you place your first foundations at night time? Right, let's place one there. There we go. I'll do. Uh, oh, I bet you I just used all the material I need for making a box. Yep. I need more fiber. And I need more wood. Uh, Trip likes to build his own PCs, gets expensive though. Can do, but you're also saving money because it's always cheaper buying buying the bits yourself. Because apart from anything else, you're not paying for somebody else to build it for you. Uh, what about building my PCs? Is that if something goes wrong down the line, I know how to fix or replace it. That is true. Of course, you can always add in extra pieces. You can buy so much RAM and then put in more RAM if you need it later on. Um, I can... Uh, I've got three hard drives running in my machine at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, being able to add in extra drives is useful. Built, tend to build more PCs than you ever use. That can be the case of, I know of a lot of people who are just serial upgraders, whether they need it or not. Right, let's see. Storage, box. Place the box down. Yeah. Store something in the box. Let's put... Hide in there. Oh, can open supply materials. What did we get? Plant fibre and stone. So, nothing. Ooh, a thousand plant fibre. That in there. We need to get this meat cooked. Don't need the berries. Don't need the aloe seeds. We'll put the aloe in there. Uh, how did you learn how to build PCs? Hardly to know everything you need from watching tutorials. Uh, well, I work in IT, so it's kind of part of my job. But yeah, I... I when I got my first PC, I just did the usual thing. That's like, let's open it up and have a look and see what's inside and upgraded parts and stuff. So it's kind of something I've always done. But yeah, YouTube. If you need to know how to do anything in the world, go to YouTube. There'll be so many tutorials that'll tell you how to do anything you want. Twine needs will definitely be taken care of now with all that, indeed. 
Game Labs has a current channel goal is now called The Road to 1000 and it's recently rolled over 700. He sure did. Inca Driver, thank you for watching. Big help to a gunner. Thank you very much. Thank right, uh, I've still got my campfire so we can stick that down and get some... Uh, let's split half the wood in there and put those stakes in there. I'm not caring about the feral flesh. Let's drop that in there. Let's put the uh, bedroll down. There we go. So we've got a spawn point. That's how you learn to repair anything. You took everything apart as a kid and still do. Yeah, Mark Conley, that's it. An engineering mind. How does this work? Let's take it apart. Uh, I need to repair stuff. I need some branches and some stone to repair stuff. Uh, branches, there's a branch there. Repair that. Repair that. Age check. Do you remember the days of setting your DMA and IO port channel on a graphic sound card? I sure do. Uh, my first PC was a 286. 12 megahertz 286. That's how old I am. DOS, so a different config.sys and autoexec.bats to, to play different games, loading different stuff into the extended memory manager. I think my first PC, I paid the extra to have a whole one megabyte of RAM up from the standard 640k. And in those days, you needed to have the extended memory manager to be able to access anything above. Right, here we go. Here's, here's some coal nodes. Get some of this. Good. About the same age as you, Tony. Fine age, a fine age, sir. First computer was an Apple IIe. Oh, I suppose my first actual computer was a Sinclair Spectrum 48K. Which, I'm not sure if you got them in the US. Sinclair being a, a UK based company. Uh, Bulwarks was a P2 second hand in 2000. Learning how to use DOS was something. Sneaking games into your school PCs was fun, yeah. On a floppy disk. Major Dan was an 8080. The mouse that ran the power supply died when I forgot to feed it. <laughs> any more? Any more to be had? There's more somewhere. First PC was a Christmas Day 2016. A friend of mine was supposed to come and help me back in November. It didn't show up, so I waited. Oh, oh, oh. Get uh, out oh. yeah, of it. Are you stuck in the... Come on, bleed out, bleed out. Floppy disk luxury, remember having to change tapes to load games. Oh, well, the Spectrum, the Zenic Spectrum was cassettes, yeah, it, it was taped. Then five minutes loading something for it to crash and then you have to start all over again. Yeah, right, I'm definitely past the bit of... There's more coal up there. I went the wrong path. Who was he reading chat? Yeah, I remember... Getting a what was that? a sound blaster sound card a, that you needed to plug in your CD-ROM. When I got my first CD-ROM, it plugged. It didn't plug into the PC or the motherboard. It plugged into the sound card. And so I remember. Remember getting that. Got that for for Christmas. 
It was wrapped up and placed under the tree. Didn't get to open it until Christmas. Got it on Christmas Day uh, and it was it didn't work. It was broken. So I then had to wait for all the shops to open up so I could return it and get a, get a working one. It was very, very frustrating. Having sat watching the parcel under the tree for like weeks waiting to get my hands on it. And then when I did get my hands on it, it didn't work. Right, that's maybe all the coal nodes that are nearby. How things have changed. Right. Oh, we've completed the survival shelter journey step. Let's let's get back home before we claim that. All the iron. In the days when everything was closed, the week of Christmas except that one gas station. That's it, yes. Indeed. Maybe not just a week, maybe two weeks over Christmas and New Year. Right, so we can put some of the... But we'll put all the coal in there just now. We've done the cooking. We don't want that feral flesh. Eat that. Right, let's claim that journey step. We get the survival kit. Open the survival kit and get a bunch more stuff. Uh, let's see, we'll put keep that with us. We'll put that in there. Throw that away. Healing wraps, may as well keep a hold of them. Keep those seeds. Put the hide in there. Do fiber beast. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Nowadays, any smartphone could do more than a PC. Oh, it certainly can, without a doubt. Back in the day, we harvested coal nodes with a stone pick. Yeah, back in those old good old days. First ever game you played on PC was Jet Set Willy on your Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Uh, I think my first game was Trans Am on the Spectrum, but I did get Jet Set Willy later on, and of course the legendary Manic Miner. Still hoping that Funcom changes their journey system to better retroactively give you credit for things. Yeah, kind of. I mean, the thing I do say is the journey system is really meant for new players. So it does... It explains the order of a thing. So if you're a new player, you can go to here and it'll tell you how to do stuff. But in the order you need to do it. But there is there's certain things like this craft and iron pick. I mean, I, I might actually start doing this journey when I'm already at star metal. And it'll tell me to craft an iron pick when I've got a star metal pick. And it, that should accept it. It's like, okay, you've, you've made a pick. Yeah, so some of them are a bit annoying, but... You just have to remember that they are for beginners and uh, they're meant to teach the beginners how to play the game. And it's definitely better than the whole random system where it, the, that we had before where it, it would tell you what the current ones that you were on but it would give you credit for anything further down if you did it in any order because it was just a bit random and didn't really make an awful lot of sense. Whereas this, this is teaching you how to play the game. Yes, you, you do want to use the blacksmith and armor journeys as quick as possible. I was just using that as an example. Just There, there are ones that it does tell you uh, to use, to go and craft a, an iron skinning knife or something like that, even though you've got a, a higher level one and you should just be, you should just accept that you've got one. But yeah, it's it's not perfect, but I still think it's a bit better than it was before. Yeah. Built near longboats and arc. Uh, I think you've changed it so any pick works. Okay, that's cool. That's that's a good thing. Where can you find Pet Isle of Sipta? This island is huge. Where can I find Pet Isle? I don't know what you mean by Pet Isle, Henka. 
Uh, you can get the first journey by dying without a bed or bedroll, then you spawn at the beginning again. Yep, yeah, you can. You just put all your stuff in a box if, if you want to go back. You can also just skip the first one. The, I've claimed it now, but the first one you don't is not mandatory. You can just, there's a skip option. So if you've already started your game and you're further along, you can skip that because it's not going to teach you anything and just move on. The reward to get are the purple orbs, perfected weapons and armor, and maybe a few others that are really helpful. 100%, yep. Although I guess the purple orbs are probably not quite as useful in Sipta, because I don't think there is... Like, there's not quite the Sepa Maru type thing with, with people hanging about that are not going to aggro on you. Matthew McDowell, good day from Atlanta, Georgia. Good afternoon to you too. Watch your videos and help me through the workday. Thanks for your content. You're very welcome. Best buildings came in this game. So the, my two favourite building sets are the, the Flotsam and the stone storm glass that you get from Isla Sipta and also the Nemedian that you get from the People of the Dragon DLCs. Right. Where are we now, warrior? What level are we? There we go. So our armor's increased by 40 and our stamina by 20. Speaking of armor, we probably need to get some armor crafted. And we also need to get some black stations going as well. So let's go to journey. Uh, armorer. Unlock the armorer knowledge. So, armor, there we go, journey, where did it go, armor, there it is, let's switch journey to that, craft a skinning knife, 20 stone for that, and Overlord Johnny, have you considered turning into an avatar and taking out the boss of the PvE fort? Did the tanning one a couple of days ago and it counted the star metal skinning knife I was crafting, so I think they may Ah, oh, excellent, that's good to know. Animal pets. Oh, okay, well there's animal pets all over the island. Um on on a video I did a few weeks back, it was like my top 10 questions. Uh, in that video, I talk about the interactive maps for both Exile Lands and Isle of Sipta. And if you go to those maps, one of the things you can choose is baby animals, and it'll show you where the baby animals are on, on the map. So, there is a chance, I believe there's a chance that whenever there is an animal, like that croc down there, it can be uh, a baby one, but there is certain areas where there is always baby ones, and that could be showed on the interactive map. So either find that video, and you'll see it in the description, or if you just Google uh, Conan Exiles Isle of Sipta interactive map, you'll you'll find it. It's a German website, I believe. D it ends with .de, um, and that'll that'll help you find things. Right, let me... I'll probably need to go crafting some more wood. Let me just create some more... I do need more wood. Get a little bit more foundations placed so we can then start putting some benches down. Nice to have a mod that kept the rest of the map hidden until you explored it. Yeah, a fog of war type deal. Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, you're welcome, Hancock. You're welcome. Uh, a decent video to watch because uh, obviously I answer the 10 most asked questions that I get. Okay, I get a lot of people asking the same question in the comments, so it's nice to put a video out just to go, here you go. 
Here's all the answers. Will you learn more in archery this playthrough? Show a different style. So I, I can't... I, I will be doing archery, but it won't be my primary weapon. I'll probably be going down a dagger, short sword, katana, agility weapon. But I'll, I'll still have bows for, for pooling. It's just it just doesn't fit with my playstyle the archery in this game. Uh, I do say that I just I can't get on with it, and I, I get people put comments in, oh archery is really great if you put this in and do this, but it just doesn't work for my playstyle. Find an interactive map if it's okay. Yeah, post a link if you can. Oh. Loads of wood. Right. Oh. It's all getting very misty. Does that mean... Oh, and there's... Leaves and branches flying past. So I think the maelstrom is about to come along. Only mods can place a link. Ah, okay. Uh, Bulwark or Thor, are you able to post a link for me, please? Uh, so, I hear you often talk about pooling with a bow. How does that work since when you shoot someone, all the vicinity get aggroed anyway? It just means you can pull... You can pull some things from further away without having to get up close. So I, just, I can pull it into an area f that I want to fight in as opposed to running up and smacking it. Maybe you can't drop down those big trees. you never have to gather wood again. <laughs> right, uh, a few more. That'll do. Right, now I need to learn... What? Oh, I have to make a skinning knife. Let's do it in the right order. Don't mean pull to separate them. Ah, uh, well, so sometimes... Um, if you pull... If you hit one thing and pull it and it, it area aggro something beside you, um, the one that you do damage to will keep aggro on you a bit longer. So the other one might return back. But yeah, it's basically to, to pull things at range. Not necessarily to... I mean, it's, it's always good if you can split them up and only have to defeat a couple of them at one one or two of them instead of five or whatever. But yeah, that's, that's really... Um, been playing for a thousand hours and still learn from your video to hit branches with a hatchet. Yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's a big one that... Uh, I get a lot of comments about Andrew Dukes. Thank you for the sub. That uh, yeah, that a lot of people didn't know about hitting. It's not. It's not just branches. It's eggs and and stuff that's and stuff like that as well. So you can you can get more. Right, I'm probably going to need some stairs to get up there. Uh, building pieces. I'm going to have to learn the stairs. There we go. Yeah, let's put one down there. That'll do. Right, skin an animal. Okay. Let's go and take on the croc down here. You can use the hatchet on the wooden planks too to get more wood. Okay. I've tabbed out. Okay, I'm back again. Done it again. I'm pushing the wrong buttons. Right, skin an animal. Access or place an armorer's bench. Uh, Reno, 
Love your videos and your voice. You're a brilliant creator. I've only been watching your videos since two months ago. Keep up the good work. Love from Reno from South Africa. Ah, thank you very much. Good to see you here. Stream exceeds 100 likes. You guys are awesome. They are indeed. I don't want to say that you're the best community in on the internet, but you're definitely the best community that are here today. Love you guys. Exception of the arena champion, the Gate Guardian is the hardest hitting boss in Kaleo's stronghold. Uh, yeah, that would probably make sense. He does do a lot of damage. In a large camp, shooting one may bring only the people closest to them, not the whole camp. Can be useful for... Yep, that's true. Um, it doesn't say kill it first, just skin it. That's, that's a good point. It's just, uh, it tends to complain about you taking its skin when it's still alive. Right, so now I need to do the armorer's bench. Well, I've got another attribute to spend. Uh, let's put a little bit more into grit. We'll get vitality, grit, and expertise and agility to the first one. And then we'll start working on authority. Okay, knowledge, armor... Oh, I've learned armor, so I just need to make the bench now. So what do we need to craft the bench? Uh, all this stuff that you get from the battle pass and everything. Uh, what's that under? Smithing? Armor's bench. So I need 25 twine and 200 stone. Let's do a bunch of that. Uh, oh, sorry. For Joseph's viewing mod in Steam, once I've subscribed to it, does it download automatically? I can't see a download. Ah, yes, it should do, yes. Um, and then when you get to the main menu of the game, there'll be a mods um, section. You want to enable that. What will what'll happen is if, you're, if you join a server that has that activated, it will activate it for you. If you join a server that doesn't, it'll have to remove it and restart your game. But yeah, you, you have to make it an active mod. It should download automatically if you're doing it through the Steam Workshop. Uh, did you see a pig at, at the Exiled Lands? Uh, there's boars. You know, if you don't let the Guardian hit you, it doesn't hit hard at all. That is also a good point gone with nerds, yeah. And it, it's a, actually a good idea to don't let any of the mobs hit you. It's a great way of staying alive. Uh, Drop Bear Z, good morning to you. How are you? David Lupton, can you get mods for PS5? Unfortunately, there is no mods for consoles. Yet. Started a new character. Yeah, it's a new playthrough. We've kind of done everything we needed to do in the old one. So we uh, we had a little vote on the community page, and the the, the winner was a Isle of Sipta playthrough from the start. We wanted to do a bow build build. It's also an idea to have a follower with you, just in case. Take a bit of the aggro for you. Yeah, that so that's one of the problems with the bow, is that obviously they come charging at you, then uh, it's really difficult to hit things with a bow and arrow when they're up close, and you have to go to melee. But like you say, if you have a follower who's hold an aggro for you maybe it's possible but yeah just bows bows just aren't a thing for me and like i keep saying that's the one of the great things about this game is you can play it however you want right so i need some more stone uh, and we can make an armorer's bench Crafting station, smithing, armorer's bench. Put it over here somewhere. Craft a light padding. Well, we're going to need hide for that. How about making some clothes? That is exactly the journey I'm on right now. 
Bergskoff, good evening to you. How are you? Am I, am I offending you with my nakedness, Carrie Ann? Am I? Carrie Ann, sorry. Uh, light padding, heavy padding. There we go. Oh, I need twine as well. I'll have to make some more twine. You're looking into an agility build utilizing the bow and katana with a follower. Ah, nice one, Gabe Labs. Uh, little piggies are brown with white stripes and adult piggies are ugly with mohawks. Easy way to know what you're looking at. Uh, created a pig. Hope maybe to use it somehow as a pet. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Right. Uh, put that in there. How much? Oh, we need five. Five per. Put some damn clothes on, boy. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, is, that, is that doing the crafting speed? Is that how slow it is? Uh, craft a piece of light armor. Last pay through, I went pets only. It didn't last. Rolls are just too good. Yeah. And the, some pets are actually pretty good, but the problem is that you can't you can't change their weapons and you can't change their armor to make it better. Could be worse, you could have full nudity turn on. I could do, yeah. YouTube wouldn't be very happy, but I could do. Just wear some blue paint. And shout, freedom! Right, there's some armor. That journey is now complete. Which gives me armor repair kit. Wow. Throw that in there. Not great. Uh, right, I'm going to go with the assassin light armor set at the moment. Funcom should introduce pet armors at least. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of the skins, like these things that you've got over the over the different ages with the battle passes and whatnot, that kind of have armor on them, but it doesn't actually work as armor. Kickstream required for full nudity. <laughs> Less distracting, yeah, that's true. So yeah, it's it was something I've thought of doing for a playthrough as a, a pets only, but yes, uh, I maybe still do it, but it's really just it's not going to be that good. Right, what do I need? I need more hide, and I need more. Uh, oh, I, I tell you what, I've got. Reptile hide that I can turn into. Butchers, medium iron, medium armor, tan, thick hide into. Okay. Not quite up to there yet. So we'll probably want. We'll maybe finish off the warrior. Uh, you have to finish the warrior to get to the. What's the what's the one for agility called? Is it rogue or something like that? Uh, you could do a pets one on Sipta because of the dogs. Yeah, hey, that's true. Yeah, they are they're a bit tougher. Yeah, there should be an agility one, but maybe you have to complete warrior first. What set is that? This is the assassin armor. It's an agility based armor. Light armor gives agility damage. I always think is a really cool armor set. Quite often just use it as a transmog set. Kind of wish that when you picked a culture you could only build weapons, armor, tools of that culture. It takes forever to find it in the menu. Okay, that's a an option. 
Anyone played Savage Wilds? What's it like? Apparently it's Savage and it's Wild. That was one of the options. That was the second highest um, rated in the poll, was to do the Savage Iron map. It's both agility and strength now, is it? Oh, what are... Uh, what? Uh, oh. Oh, that's strength. That's agility. And that's agility. Oh, that's rubbish. Oh, well. Rogue comes up after warrior. Okay. Maybe click all the free weapon categories to get the journeys. Yeah, so, okay. We need to... Right, I need to make a tannin bench. Uh, how do I learn that? That's under... Hmm. Tannin station was under there. Oh no, it'll be under a survival, under here. Tannery. Uh, Tanner's table. Put that here. Then we can place the reptile hide in there and we can strip it into hide. Since we need more hide. Uh, Gaudia Sir Thomas is doing the Savage Wilds. He's a lot of fun to watch. He is, yes. He's just, he's just bought a PC. Um... And the first thing is because uh, Savage Wilds is a mod, so a uh, Ranger armor we're a long way away from the Ranger armor. Oh, is that the end of the Maelstrom? Yeah, he just bought a PC, so the first thing he was able to do now that he can do mods is he he did a he started a Savage Wilds, and on the very first episode he spawned in and he ran straight up into the the north into the really dangerous area and died, funnily enough. Without any any weapons, any gear, just stone tools. I was like, oh, that's quite funny. Right, can I make some more? Uh, I'll need two more light paddings. So I need more twine. Get this to do my twine for me. Got to go grill up some gator tail and fry some hush puppies for the wife's dinner. Day frosty. Ooh. What's a hush puppy? I know what a gator tail is, but what's a hush puppy? Savage Wild is no joke above the snow line. Yeah. So I hear. I'll head north for... Well, obviously I do. The north is the better place to be, but... Conan Exile, it's a fried donut, fried do like a donut. Ball of frying cornbread, okay, very interesting. Never heard of that before. Hush Puppies is a type of shoe in the UK. A company that makes shoes. Cornbread. Okay. Cool. Food better be your friendlier people. <laughs> nice one, I do. Uh, right, let's take some of that. Put it in here. Let's make two more of them. What do I need? Gloves and... Gloves, craft and boots. Need more hide. Looks a bit silly with my bare hands and no bare feet. Now that I've got... Oh, that guy hasn't spawned in again yet. How was my curry on Friday? It was fantastic. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, the, that body usually is involved with an animal in its vicinity, but there isn't. 
Accidentally made some when you had extra cornbread butter. Yummy. Nice. Right. Just spin too much now. We can't really get past them. There it goes. Uh, skinning knife. Acolyte. Uh, let's find a job. Let's go and get another one. This puppy used to be shoes in Canada. That sounds better than footwear. <laughs> Marp, marp, marp. Here's the other one. This you might enjoy. We had it tonight. Is horseshoe? What? What's horseshoe? Off to cook up a Lauren sausage and black pudding bap. Mark Coleman, that sounds amazing. Although in Scotland we call that square sausage. Oh, bird. Horseshoe crab. Uh, piece of toast with a burger patty, then chips and cheese sauce. Burger patty on the toast. Okay. Different. Black pudding. Oh, we had a big discussion about black pudding on Game Lab stream on Friday night. Turns out it's illegal in America. You you guys are missing out so much. You have to go shopping tomorrow now. <laughs> well tasty. I can imagine. Found out the hard way. They put my thrall on the green dragon. Went after the baby myself. Not realising that you can't shield or dodge its head on attacks. I died rather quickly. <laughs> Oops. Uh, right, so I need to tan a bit more of this. People give me a lot of hard, hard time about putting this stuff in the tanners to strip it into hide. Uh, and they keep telling me if you put it straight into the tannery, you'll get more leather. It's like, yes, but I'm not wanting leather. I want hide. But it is true. If you take reptile hide or hyena hide or whatever and put it straight into the tanner tannery, you will get more leather from it. But in the early game when I'm wanting hide, you strip it in the tanner's table to make hide. Did they finally fix the combat? Not yet, Vash, not yet. Assassin Lucifer, good evening to you. Good evening to you. So yeah, it's still it's still a bit you still can't turn mid mid combat and, and whatnot. Our Age of Calamity is working in Ireland. Uh, I don't know. I've never tried Age of Calamitous, I'm afraid. Black pudding scotch egg, oh now you're talking. Absolutely love a black pudding scotch egg or a haggis scotch egg. Uh, bunch of that, put that in here. Right, what do I need? Need to learn to write correctly. Yeah, there's the gloves, so I just need the boots. We'll have a full set of armor. Throw that away, we'll throw that away. We'll put the wood. Uh, put the wood in there, the branches in there stone in there. Oh, I'll tell you what we need to do is we need to get... Right, we completed that journey. 
Armor art complete. Reward claimed, have I? Okay, uh, we need to get going on the blacksmith one then. Start getting the iron going. Unlock the blacksmith knowledge. Uh, is it not here? Yeah. Access or place a furnace. Now, a furnace needs a whole bunch of stone, and I don't think we've got enough. Uh, we need to repair our gear. Give me some of the twine. Give me some of stone. Give me a couple of branches. And then we can go repair. Repair. Oh no, I don't. Oh. It's 250. Ah, I do remember it got an update. Eh. Uh, didn't want to put all of that in there. Let's try taking it back out again. That. Uh, e, and let's take a few branches. Right, let's try that again. Repair. Why is the repair button not in the same place for every tool? There we go. Right. You're right, it did get an update and it's not as expensive anymore. It's 250 now. Thank you. Who was that? Bulwark, thank you. Right, so we're now just slightly short. Let's go and harvest this big rocks. Last time you had haggis it was terrible. Oh, no, no, no. Haggis is lovely. Uh, right, we'll do that over here. Oh, I need more out of the box. Like that. There. Right, now we need to go and harvest some iron. There's lots of iron around this part. Orcadale back, yep, it is, yes. Always a good idea to have a starter base that's close to a bunch of iron nodes. Beanie Mrs. did convince a last down the boozer that a haggis was a wee beastie <laughs> with a tamashant and two legs short on the other so it could run around so it can run around the hills. That's that's exactly correct. So to catch it, you run in the opposite direction. Because it can only run one way because of the two legs shorter than the other. Ivana Cofton! So happy you could catch you today. I'm happy you could catch as well. But a decent brew in the UK. Got to be Yorkshire tea. I'm not much of a tea drinker, I'm afraid. I'm a coffee guy. Coffee and beer. Was a way to jump. Go on, down you go. There it goes. Wild haggis beast. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Very rarely drink tea. I'll, I'll have. I don't. I'll don't drink coffee in the evening. So once it gets to like six o'clock, I'll I'll have a have a tea at that point in time but yeah it's not a not a drink of choice for me to eat some food but I, mean, I, I only drink coffee when I have to be sociable during the day at work and whatnot apparently it's frowned upon me drinking beer at work my number one choice will always be beer. Cost as your go-to. Uh, 
that's it all. More around the other side, up the river a bit, but that'll do for us now. The darker the better. Yeah, black coffee. Don't like beer anymore. Depends on the time of day for me. Coffee in the morning, tea in the afternoon and evening, express after dinner, and then an espresso. Sneak in a hip flask and put it in the coffee. <laughs> what type of beer? My my main beer of choice is Guinness. I, I'm not a lager drinker. I like dark beers. Um, so yeah, Guinness is, would be my main choice. And then... Um, I'm not sure whether you get it down south, but there's a, a Scottish beer called McEwan's Export. Uh, you get various exports that are like a darker, browner beer. Um, that's that's my beers of choice. Don't do laggers. Let's pan that. Uh, I want some of my coal back. And find a hardened steel pick through the world. Yes, that's one of the things that started in Sipta, and I think they now do in Exiled Lands. You can find, like, random weapons and uh, tools just lying about. Right. Oh, I've got to go and harvest coal. Even though we've harvested coal. Guinness makes you clever. I love Bikuin's export and champion. Oh, so you do get export down there. We can get Murphy's out here. That's so that's that's uh, pretty close to Guinness. It's a little bit sweeter. I think Guinness is a little bit s more sour than Murphy's, but Guinness is also from Dublin. Murphy's is from somewhere down in Southern Ireland, which I can't remember where it is at the moment. You have PTSD with beer. A few bad experiences, have you, Cathy Ann? I have also had several bad experiences with beer, but that didn't put me off. Uh, okay, looks like the nodes haven't respawned yet. Used to live on tins of McEwen's Red. Oh, okay, so you definitely get it down there then. Yeah, McEwen's export is the is the red beer, yeah. Have a go cold lager, it's the German Oh that makes sense. So that's it. So obviously I'm I'm going to I'm going to Germany for the Euros in the summer for a couple of weeks. So I'm going I'm going to just have to deal with drinking German beers. There we go, we're moonwalking. Come on, turn around. There we go. Smelting iron bar. Always run to Seperu now at the start just to get a steel mace, daggers, and then kill Seth for his truncheon. Sometimes even before a starter base. Woofed. You need to desensitize using exposure. Yes, that's it. Budweiser is your beer of choice. Oh, David. Oh, no. Not Budweiser. Wish you could drink at work. It would make things more interesting. It certainly would make things more interesting. Smell makes you feel... Oh, right. Love a lager beer. Family came from Germany in 1895. Okay. Alright, let's put more of that in there. Get some of that out of there. A blacksmith bench. Uh, 5F blacksmith bench is, I think it's 50. 50 iron bars, yes. At least it's not blood light. Beck, don't drink alcohol. Good for you. At least it's not Bud Light or, yeah, light, light beers should be banned. First got drunk at the age of two, never looked back since. <laughs> yes, the, the breed them right in the north, eh? How do 
Nice Pilsner once in a while. What oh, isn't beer? It's better than Coors, but it's not saying much. <laughs> oh, you're off to Mark's night. I'm off to eat my late night bap and wash it down with a few tins of Smith's. Night, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, I think a new one for me is called Houston Pills. Okay, mm, don't know that one. Spent a lot of time in Houston, though. And uh, a beer I did enjoy when I was in Houston was Shiner Bock. And I actually we went on a journey to oh, San Antonio one, one weekend while working over there. And we passed through the actual town of Shiner, where Shiner Bock is made. And obviously, a, a German. Um, a German, I don't know what you call it, German people would have moved to that area way back when, so there was a German community, and uh, the Shiner Bock, I guess, is a sort of German kind of beer. Is it Holsten Pills, Game Labs? That, that's a kind of beer, Holsten Pills. Right, so I need more. Oh, I've got more now. That's fine. Okay. Come on, do this properly. There we go. And I'm going to need a bunch of stone. Two fifty stone. Oh. Right, we'll place that over in this corner. Uh, access the bench. Right, so now we're going to need a bunch more iron to get a, a tool made. Unlock iron tools. Oh, we've got more attributes to spend. There, knowledge, survival, iron tools. Got a bail up at the crack of the sparrows. Take it steady. Thank you, Odu. Good to see you again, my friend. Catch you later. Relic Hunter Short Sword does 45 damage. I'm sure it's a mistake, but they haven't fixed it yet. So it does. Ah, uh, but it needs steel. It's a steel weapon. That's why it's 45 damage. It's not an iron weapon. It's a... Let's see. Oh, I haven't unlocked the steel short sword yet. Uh, steel short sword. Oh, but that does 33, so it's still better. It's still better. Certainly when you get up to the steel level at level 30... It's certainly, certainly better, yeah. It looks like it needs a little bit of balancing. Right, uh, I want the iron short sword. Need to craft an iron pick first, but I think I need 30 bars for that. And I'll need some branches. Forty-five is higher than star metal, you think? Let's have a wee look. Uh, Star Metal Short Sword. It's 51. Let me see. Hardened Steel is 45. So it's equivalent of a hardened steel. But it's made with steel. The microbreweries around now that a beer for everyone made just around the corner. Like it was when Pub brewed their own. That is true. That is true. The um, the the big micro. Well, it's not really a microbrewery anymore. But Brew Dog, which is a it's there. They come from around these parts. They're based here. They're kind of going all over the world now. 
Um, but yeah, that, I'm I'm not a big fan of their beers. I've tried a lot of their beers, and and yeah, it's not they're they're a bit fruity for me. But they're obviously very popular because they're all over the place now. Right, iron pick done. Craft an iron weapon. We need more more iron bars for that. Well, not enough. Have you any plans for builds on Sipta? Uh, not yet. Other than the fact that I will be. Uh, Rhino, you're off. Thanks, bud. Got to go to sleep. We'll watch the video later. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you. So many beers, so little time. Yeah, Lou, you got it. Uh, Brewdog, bleh. <laughs> I'm not a fan either. No. <laughs> Oh, all this talk of beer. Wonder what I'll do when I finish this stream. Right. So let me see. Iron Short Sword is 17. Blood Letter 17. Health Damage. So they're all 17s. Apart from the Relic Hunter, which is 45, but needs steel bars. Well, that's hardened steel bar, and that's only 47. Uh, ever had Moosehead? No, I don't. I think I have had Moosehead, Vash. What? No bourbon? Well, I might have a bourbon as well. You never know. But it's going to end up making a brewery before steel. <laughs> let's get a let's get a purge on the go so we can get a barkeep and then just get the get the bar made. Right, we'll make the blood letter sword just because it's it looks cool. And it's it's an iron level tool. Well, that's still really slow. I do like this armor, though. It is cool. He was raised on Moosehead. Wow. Canadian beer with 12% alcohol. It's best warm. Okay, well, so, so the that export that I drink, it, I, mean, I, I hasten to say it's best warm, but it's definitely, um, it's not like a lager that has to be kept in the fridge. It's maybe, we'll go, blacksmith has been completed. So what did we get from that? Weapon repair kit. Not so great. Steelsmith, that's the one we really want to get the perfected weapons. Uh, but we need to be level 30 to get that. Bourbon and Coke or tea with honey and lemon? Well, definitely bourbon and Coke is the, the better one. Although bourbon and lemonade is my actual choice. And for there are people in America, they don't get the same lemonade as we get. Le Lemonade is like a clear, it's, it's like Coke, but it's, it, it's clear lemony soda. Um, a bit more like sort of 7-Up kind of kind of thing. It's not the cloudy lemonade that you get in America. I remember going to a bar in Houston and asking for a Jack Daniels and lemonade, and they just looked at me really weird. Like, what the hell would you put that in it for? Right, let's see. Put that in there. We're, oh, we still actually need that to do... We need that to do... The warrior journey step. Let's go. Let's go do. Look how little of the map we've uncovered. Couple of couple of things around the coast and our base here. Uh, getting dark. Wonder if I can sunder you. So journey, warrior, switch journey, apply sunder. So right click should apply sunder. There we go. We'll unlock Defender. Yeah, weapons. Defender. Let's go craft a shield. This Arano and Coke. Hmm, interesting. A good vodka. Ah, so that's the difficult bit. Getting a good vodka. So, not a huge fan of vodka. Because there's so many awful paint stripper vodkas out there. Like Sprite or 7-Up. We do have Mike's Hard Lemonade. Who was it was speaking about that? Was that Neebs? Did they used to speak about Mike's Hard Lemonade? Something that I'm interesting in. 7-Up Free? Yeah, so I think 7-Up, is that like a... Or Sprite is more like a lemon and lime, whereas Lemonade is just lemon. It doesn't have the lime in it, but that also would work quite the same. You want a Stone Pike 
Well, we'll need a stone pike as well. Um, right, so we need a bit of wood, a bit of twine, and craft a shield. Uh, and then we need to do a. We'll also need to craft. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? I think I might have to make night a bit quicker. Just speed it up for you guys. Buy Nemirov vodka. Great Ukrainian vodka. Ukraine's brews have it on special. <laughs> oh, there we go. Daylight. That croc looks big. Right, so... Oh, oh, that's because it's a boss one. Right, we're not taking him on at the moment. Go away. Go away. He's away. Uh, unlock bruiser knowledge. Oh. Weapons. Bruiser. This is the one we've got to make a stone pike. Which I need more branches and stone. Uh, any branches around? Oh, he's coming after me again. Come on. There's branches. Seem to have descended into an alcohol discussion. <laughs> different vodkas, different rums. Whiskey. Drop a tree. Yeah, did I get enough? Yes, I think I did. Bear traps would be out of place in Conan as it's far too technology level. Um, yeah, probably. Yep. Always found that a bit weird in Ark that you, like, you're making machine guns and laser guns. It's like, really? Right, we need to cripple an enemy, so we need to right-click you. There we go. Warrior complete. Now we can take that and throw it away. Give me my daggers back. Journey. Claim that. Ah, soldier rogue. That's the one we want. Defeat an enemy with an agility weapon. Certainly. Don't fall off the cliff, though. There we go. Invest five points into agility. That might be a bit harder at the moment. We've got zero points to spend. Okay, we'll work on that in a bit. Uh, where's my base? Down there. Down there. Have we got enough iron? We can make a proper... Uh, speaking of the rum, has everyone got the rum rutter's recipe from the Black Galleon? Not anymore. Not here. Uh, I think we're going to need... Where are our shields made again? Is that the carpentry bench? Or is it the armorer's bench? Armorer's bench. Knowledge. A blood letter shield that matches with the armor set, I suppose. It needs thirty and five. Uh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for your own safety, please remember it's Mother's Day on the 10th of March in the UK. Yes, so next Sunday is Mother's Day in the UK. Be prepared. Make sure you look after your mother. Uh, weapon repair kit. Put that in there. And then we'll put stuff back in there. Right, let's just go... Can we make a set of daggers? Depth of Tsar daggers. Do 10 damage. Uh, arcane damage. Well, oh, I haven't learned. They're all 10. I haven't learned. Knowledge. Weapons, skirmisher. It's your birthday as well, Reality Andy. Nice one. Kill the rabbit with a bow. Not yet. Not yet. You've got to do them in order. Uh, where's skirmisher? Here it is. Iron poniards. What are they? They're 11, so they're one better. Yeah, it isn't until May in the US. I found that out last year, I think it was, that uh, we were having a having a stream on a Sunday. It was Mother's Day in America. It's weird that it's different in different parts of the world. Right. Let's go and just take something on with these things. Oh. It's stuck. There we go. Down you go. Right, we've got another level. Eh... Uh, what is the perk in there? Drastically increases your armor and stamina. Let's keep going until we get to five points in there. Yeah, you're always going to miss any of these people in the, when it comes to days like that when they're they're no longer around. Right, let's just poke our heads up here and see see who's up here and I think next episode we'll be looking to start taming some of them we need to get a, a friendship wheel set up river watch keep both they're both dagger people but XL2 oh don't skin don't skin use daggers To be here. The other one reset, yet. Yeah. Oh, we'll take your bow and your arrows and then triple them. Oh, don't reset. Don't re oh, come back. There we go. Uh, and we'll take more arrows from you. So then we've got blacksmiths and... Mm, can't remember who that is. There's a blacksmith and somebody else up there. Maybe an armourer? Can't remember. Not going to pull them, just in case they're really good. But yeah, that's that's probably going. That's just after ten o'clock, so that's going to do it for today. We've got a we've got a decent start. We've got some armor and some tools and weapons and stuff set up. And uh, yep, thanks, Game Labs. Yep, 
he streams on a Friday night. Check out his YouTube channel. Got some good videos on there, and he streams at a seven o'clock UK time on a Friday Friday night. Um, but yeah, we've we've got our armor. We've got a base location set up. We're we're getting we're getting very basic started up. But thank you, every one of you who came along tonight. Those those who contributed in the chat. Those who just lurked in the background. Also, thank you, people. Thanks for the new subs. Thanks for the donations. And uh, we'll see you again next Sunday, where we'll we'll do a bit more and we'll we'll start getting into friend taming and maybe a bit more adventures around the map. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a great week. Catch you next time. Bye now. <laughs>